guys, welcome to part two, and let's get to it. Um, this next one, I also got a blockbuster that was going out of business, and my girlfriend actually wanted to see this, and I was, all right, I'll get it. And I got this for like eight bucks, and it's Revolutionary Road on Blu-ray, and this one was a weird one. It was, it was, it's like a drama, but it was intense. Um, it kind of had some funny moments, but it, it was a weird one. It was, it was definitely a different type of movie it's just basically them trying to make it and or trying to follow their dreams and whatnot um uh there's definitely some moments that had you on the edge of your seat but there's some moments that you're kind of just like okay come on let's get to it um both you know acted really really good in this especially kate winslet i, I thought she was amazing in this because she's crazy as shit in this movie um not the whole entire movie but there are times when she is just um, out of her mind, but I, I thought she did a fantastic job, and Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio was good, as usual, never really lets you down, it never really, but sometimes doesn't really blow you away either, so he was, he was kind of good in this, and, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's different, it's definitely worth checking out, um, I, I wouldn't buy it, but it's definitely worth seeing, and the picture quality was good. This next movie was amazing, and it blew me away, and I kind of knew it was going to, and it's The Book of Eli, and it's also Lent, and um, this this was good. This um, kind of post-apocalyptic movie um, has a cool twist ending. Not sure if it's believable, and you'll know what I'm talking about. But nonetheless, action was fantastic. The cast was fantastic. Um, hell yes to Mila Kunis in an action movie. Can we have more of that, please? Um, but the pitch quality was ridiculous. Ridiculous! This was amazing. Just a really fun action movie. Um, you have to buy it. This is a, a purchase, hands down. You don't even have to think about this. Get this one for sure. It's it's really, really amazing. Um, that one, in, and including like the next, pretty much all the rest of the movies I got at Movie Stop, didn't pay any money for pretty much any of it because I traded in a bunch of stuff. And uh, this one, I have to see. I don't care if people shit on it. I really don't care. Uh, one of my favorite actresses is in this movie, and I don't care. And it's a chick flick. And it's when in Rome. And I absolutely love this. Um, it, it was it was funny. It was cute. It was good picture quality. Um, it had good people in it. it. There's really not much else, you know, I, I need to say. It was just really, really good. Um, I mean, the story is ridiculous, but you know what? Almost every movie story is ridiculous nowadays. Um, had a lot of good people. Has Kristen Bell, obviously, is the, is the selling point for me. And she was really, really good, really funny, charming in this, really great. Um, and then you also have Josh Dumal, okay, blah, blah, blah. John Heater, Will Arnett, Dak Shepard, and Danny DeVito all trying to get with Kristen Bell. Really, really funny. And it's just a really, you know, nice, fun movie that I think you should definitely check out. I think you should give it a shot. I don't care what everybody else has to say. I loved it. This next one, uh, I was expecting a little bit more. I was hoping it was going to be funnier than it was. And it's Youth in Revolt. And this one started off so strong. Like, the be like the first like 20 minutes, I thought this movie was going to be like, I'm going to laugh out loud the entire movie. It's gonna I'm going to feel like I'm watching super bad. But unfortunately, it had more of its serious side to it. Um, don't get me wrong, it's, it's a funny movie. But for me, I, I was like cracking up the beginning, and then it kind of just... For me, the remaining movie, I kind of just chuckled every now and then. But, um... And and be aware that some of these people that are in the cover are barely in it. Like, um... Zach Galifianakis is not in this very long. Justin Long is really hardly in this movie. And, um... Fred Willard is in it for a little bit. Ray Liotta's in it for a little, Steve Buscemi's in it for a little bit, but it's mainly Michael Cera and um, Portia Doubleday, pretty much in majority of this movie, so. But it was cool, the picture quality was really, really, really good, and, you know, it's a fun movie, you know, check it out. This next one, I'm kind of like, why did I buy this? I really don't know, um, I already had it on DVD, but I just, I didn't remember how the movie was, and I was like, I had money. Um, free money, so I was like, you know, let me just pick this up, and it's Minority Report on Blu-ray. Um, it's a really, really long movie. It's really long. Um, it's good, but to me, 
Um, I could have done without this. The picture quality was good. It didn't blow me away. Um, I, I kind of feel like I liked this better the first time I watched it. Um, but it has a lot of features. Um, but it was it, it was okay. I mean, I really could have done without this. If you've never seen this, I would definitely say pick it up. But if you've seen it on DVD, I don't really think you need to upgrade and get this. I mean, I felt like I could have done without it. The next movie I lent out, so I can't really show you it, but it's Dear John. And this movie was actually better than I thought it was going to be. Um, most people are going to compare it to The Notebook because I think it's the same author who um, wrote both books. And I actually like this one better. It's not as um, as lovey, lovey, dovey as um, The Notebook. It's not as, in, you know, like when I watch The Notebook, I'm like, ugh. But this one was a lot better. It's not as, I guess, well, barf proof. You know, not as, not as much as... Um, the Notebook, but Dear John, it was pretty good. Um, I like Amanda Seyfried. I think she's a good actress. Um, it just, I, I just kind of feel like she's gonna do chick flicks for the rest of her career. So I, I think she should kind of, you know, do different things. But um, it was pretty good. The picture quality was amazing, really, really good. But um, it, it was good. It was. I definitely, I wouldn't say go buy it. But if you, like I said, if you have a girlfriend and you have to, she wants to see it, I would say check it out. It's not that bad. This next movie is kind of similar in a way, and it's Remember Me. And this was actually really, really good. I really like this a lot. Um, it goes to show you Robert Pattinson can act. I mean, he can, you know, he's definitely a lot better in here than he is in the Twilight movies. I guess he's, you know, he doesn't have to act like a freaked out zombie all the time. So, I mean, freaked out vampire. But um, this was actually really, really, really good. Um, it's really surprising. It has a really really great ending a lot of goosebumps moments in this movie just a lot of fantastic scenes especially like the last half hour was really 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 good and um i like emily de raven because she's from lost and um you know you got pierce brosnan and um i kind of like the guy that's friends with him in the movie um he was pretty good too and uh definitely check this out it's really 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 good really a lot better than i thought it was going to be that's for sure this next one, um, people are saying it's Born Identity in Iraq or Afghanistan, um, and it's Green Zone. This, um, to me, it, I guess that's the easy description, but it, it's more, you know, I guess, believable, um, even though I think it's based on, like, actual events, I'm not really sure, but this was pretty good. It, was, it, was, it didn't blow me away, but I, I thought it was good. The picture quality... Here's the thing with this movie, the picture quality is so up and down, like, the day scenes are stunning, I mean, it looked so incredible, it almost looked lifelike, like it was popping off of the screen, but the night scenes are some of the worst looking scenes I've seen on Blu-ray to date. I know maybe, I, I think it was, that was the intention to be grainy, but there are moments that it's so grainy, you, you can almost barely tell what's going on during the action. And I'm like, are, are you kidding me? I'm like, I thought it was my TV, but it's it's not. I know other people have experienced that as well. And I'm like, really? I mean, this is Blu-ray. I mean, a little green, but this shit looked like it was snowing on the television. It was so bad. And I couldn't really believe it. I'm like, really? But overall, you know, it's a definitely a great action movie. Um, I shouldn't say great. It's a good action movie. Definitely suggest picking it up. Matt Damon um, was good. Uh... But that's it's really Matt Damon. I mean, it also stars um, uh, what's his name? It also stars Greg Kinnear, who's not in this that much, and Amy Ryan, who I think is fantastic, was barely in this at all. There she is in the back. I think she was she's really a great actress, and I wish she was in it more. I wish Greg Kinnear was in it more, but they weren't. So um, pick it up, and if you want to, whatever. Uh, there you go. That was part two. Stick around for part three, and I promise. It's going to be the last part.